Zuber News is here at Toronto's Elgin Theatre for the North American premiere of the Dybbuk by Israel's Gesher Theatre that has reimagined this iconic Jewish ghost story. It's not a when you think about Jewish theater, the thing, the first thing that comes to mind is the play, uh, the day book. And it's a mystical story. The original playwright Ansky heard when he was a part of an anthropological expedition in Russia in the beginning of the 20th century. And it tells the story of Leah, a bride who on her wedding night uh, yells in a male's voice, you are not my husband. Forty-four years ago, I performed the role of, of Leia in a production directed by John Hurst just a few blocks from here. This will be a very different kind of production because the Dybbuk is something that is a freely adapted. It's not like Shakespeare where you can't change your words. So I am so excited. One of the ways that I adapt this uh, play for the modern audience is that I took my character to a psychiatrist. I told her I had this uh, friend, Leia, she has a problem, she speaks in a male's voice. It could be schizophrenia, it, it could be this whole scale of psychological problems. Oh. Svetlana, sorry to, uh, sorry to interrupt, I know you're in the middle of everything right now. Quick word, how do you feel about bringing this production to North America? I, we feel very, very excited. It's not a very easy thing for Gesher to come abroad because every single show in Israel is sold out. Up next, the Dybbuk travels to New York City as they continue their North American tour. You can also listen to a special documentary on our sister station, the new Classical FM's website at classicalfm.ca. Here at Toronto's Elgin Theatre, Darren Maharaj, Zoomer News.